So this part of our store tour is going to go over the glass tanks and chameleon cages. Over here we've got our Madagascar giant velvet geckos. You can see him in the back corner there. Uh, the, on all of our chameleon cages, which are actually custom built for us at Triple L Reptile, we house all of the chameleons and stuff in them. Uh, we actually use a Zoomed Mini Deep Dome in here, along with a 100 watt Zoomed Power Sun Bolt. We also have a Mist King system set up on all of these cages, which you can see back here. It goes off for a minute at a time, once an hour every hour while we're open. So what ends up happening is all the animals get a good thorough misting uh, for a minute every hour, which adds up to eight minutes over the course of the day, which is a lot of water when you actually implement that at home. Over here we have baby veiled chameleons along with a basic setup so that people have an idea of what it's going to require to take care of them. Over here we have our baby Chinese water dragons. Uh, he is hanging out right up front here today. Cute little guy. Uh, down here we have our small Ambilobi crossed Ambonja panther chameleon. He's a little grumpy. He's hanging out there giving me the stink eye. <laughs> Real pretty little guy though. Over here we have our toke geckos and a golden gecko. The golden's up there. And in here we have some Jackson's chameleons hanging out. Over here we have a carpet chameleon in there somewhere. She's very, very good at hiding, so I'm not sure where she is in there right now. But she's in there somewhere. <laughs> and then over here we have the peacock chameleons. You can see the little girl in the back there. And then over here is our baby Salvatore water monitor. He is under his water bowl. Hey buddy. There you are. What are you doing, Sally? You gonna come out and say hi? I'm gonna put that back down on you. There he goes. He's really, really cool, really smart. You gonna come out? Spoiled. Spoiled rotten. Uh, down here we have our Fisher's Chameleon. Over here, some Asian green vine snakes. These are really, really cool snakes that come in. They're actually exclusively lizard eaters. Uh, they're tropical. They're very, very beautiful. Lots of people come in and comment on them. Ours are doing great in these cages with the Mist King set up on them. Uh, we thoroughly recommend having some kind of misting system on them. They thrive really well like that. And over here we have our mountain horn lizards all hanging up on the side of their cage. Uh, there's one in the tree there taking a nap. Uh, these guys are doing pretty good too. Over here we have our glass tanks along with the uh, cases that house our colubrids and arachnids. Uh, these glass tanks house a couple different kinds of snakes and some other goodies. And here's a Dumarl's boa. Over here are our green tree pythons. You can see them hanging out back there. Over here are some baby gargoyle geckos. And here is our case that houses all of the baby colubrids. Uh, we have a ton of different kinds of corn snakes right now, as well as some pink snakes and pink snakes and milk snakes. We house them like this so that we can keep track of each baby snake individually. Having, having them like this really, really helps us to make sure that each one gets water, each one gets food, each one is thriving and doing well. Uh, the king snakes and milk snakes are also known to eat each other, so housing them individually like this, while the, ca the quarters look a little cramped, they do get handled regularly. We do check them every morning, and they also go home quickly. They're only in here for a little while at a time, so it honestly really does them a lot of good to be like this. We can easily track them and their health in this manner. Down here, we have all of our arachnids and a few of the Pac-Mans in the back there. Uh, we have a ton of different species of tarantulas and scorpions. Uh, back there we've got, in the back corner, you can see our rose hairs. Uh, we have rose hairs, curly hairs, we've got fire legs, red knees, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we have, actually have an African giant black millipede right there. A few different species of desert scorpions, like the desert hairy, the dune scorpion, and uh, even a yellow fat tail in there. Uh, down here we have a baby albino Colombian boa, some, a small Aryan giant carpet python or two. You can see him in the back corner. And over here is the, our cage full of emperor scorpions. And over here is a crocodile gecko hiding in the back corner somewhere. 
This is our counter. Over here we have some baby red-eyed tree frogs hanging out in the cage. You can actually see one down at the bottom there. This is our counter all decked out for Halloween with our fancy uh, counter cover and garland. And here we have a complete dune scorpion set up with a dune scorpion hanging out in the back. Uh, uh, we actually have a Zoomed tortoise house set up here in the store in our glass case with a ton of different tools for housing and taking care of reptiles. Uh, from snake probes, reptaid, lox, and teramycin. We've got tweezers and hemostats, all the specialized pinky pumps and things like that. And then gloves for handling the really big monitors and stuff. Over here we have our books. We have a few hundred different titles. We carry uh, probably about a hundred here in the store. And then we can order tons more through the website. Over here we have more glass tanks a bunch of them. Up here we'll start with the baby eastern box turtle who is asleep right now. Over here we have some Hermans and baby Greek tortoises. And here we have a baby red foot tortoise. He is grooving in his groovy jacuzzi. <laughs> Take a little dip in there. We have some baby Russian tortoises in here right up front. And here we have a pink belly side neck turtle. He seems to be hiding pretty good in his uh, foliage back there. And here we have an Atlantis Tinctorius arrow frog, doing pretty good, hanging out. Over here we have a small coach's day gecko, doing really good. And here we have a big-eyed tree frog. Last time I saw it, it was hiding in the back corner under all those leaves, so we won't see it too good. Over here we have some Mongolian frog-eyed geckos. They've been hiding under their water bowl. Uh, down here we have a bunch of different kinds of leopard geckos, and I mean a bunch. Uh, this is our typical leopard gecko setup with the water bowl and their mealworms up front, and then a ton of different hiding spots in the back. In the back is where our heat pads are. You can get a glimpse of them right there. Uh, the, the heat pads <coughs> keep the back ends of the cages warm, which is why we keep the mealworms and water up front to keep them nice and cool. Uh, that one back there coming out is one of our small super hypo leopard geckos. Real pretty little guy. And then over here is a bit, uh, small, this one on top is a leucistic, and underneath, and you can only see the tail, is a, loose, is a blazing blizzard. Over here is a regular blizzard. He was sacked out earlier. Um, and in the back you can kind of get a glimpse of one of our Eclipse Leopard Geckos. And here we have some sub-adults. They're all asleep. And then over here we have some small albinos and high yellow leopard geckos. They have been traipsing in and out of their water chasing the crickets we gave them not too long ago. And down here we have some velvet geckos from Tanzania. Tons of baby cresteds including one sitting smack dab in the middle of his food. <laughs> over here, more cresteds, and over here, even more. And they have a pretty belly. These guys are all doing super good. And up here, we have a baby Egyptian Euromastix, hiding in the back corner. <laughs> over here is a baby frilled dragon, all by himself under his basking light, looking pretty smug. We have a baby green lacerta over here. This guy is gorgeous and just getting prettier as he gets bigger. We have some armadillo lizards here. Nope. <laughs> Scared him. Oops. Uh, down here we have our red-eyed croc skinks. He's sleeping right there, right next to the water bowl. And over here we have some green anoles and rough green snakes. These guys we, we end up housing together a lot of the time just because they come from the same area and often do well. We also clean this cage very often, so they do all right like that. And here we have some, gold, some day geckos. You can see them hanging out right there. Over here some African flat rock lizards. These guys are pretty shy and uh, stress out easily, so they hide a lot of the time. And down here we have some arrow frogs. Over there, you can kind of barely make him out. That's a little Golfodusian arrow frog with those little stripes on him. There's a baby Leechianus gecko in here somewhere. Madagascar three eyed lizard. Oh, there's the Leechy. You see him in the back? Over here, we have some baby Colombian rainbow boas. <laughs> they know that it's feeding day tomorrow and they are eagerly waiting for someone to put something to eat in here. 
Down here is a European green toad. He likes to hide under his cork flat back there. But here are some baby tomato frogs who are also hiding. Right there. And then over here is a coastal carpet jaguar. It's a little, or coastal carpet python, it's a jaguar sibling, I should say, hiding up there. And in here are their fire belly toads. And up here, we have a baby black throat monitor. Hi, buddy. Really, really curious little monitor. This one's been doing really good. He likes to come up, he'll hang out on our hands, he eats off tongs. And here is a baby yellow monitor. Uh, making a mess of his cage. He really likes doing that. And over here we have a small ornate Euromastix sleeping in the back on top of his heat pad. There's a waxy monkey tree frog in this cage. These guys are one of the few frog species that actually like basking, which is why they're up top under one of our basking lights. And here is a Madagascar jeweled lizard <laughs> hanging out with just a little face poking out. And here are the golden fish scaled geckos. These are really neat little geckos from Madagascar. Uh, they've got scales that literally, like their name, <laughs> look just like fish scales. And they're beautifully iridescent. Over here are some baby coastal carpet pythons. They're hiding in the back. And over here is a spider ball python. I can barely make it out inside of his rock outcrop, or her rock outcrop. And here are some green tree frogs and Bahama anoles. And here's a bumblebee walking toad. And these are our bumblebee arrow frogs. You can see them. They've actually got some really neat pattern on them. And over here are a couple of striped coastal carpet pythons. Sound asleep. And here are some green and gold bell frogs. And over here is our yellow-headed dwarf gecko and brown mantella. The, both of them are hiding. And here are some more arrow frogs. And here are some tomato crabs. And here is a yellow splashback arrow frog. You can see him hiding in the back in his cave. And that is all of our glass tanks. There's quite a few of them. It takes us an hour every morning to go through and clean the water and spot clean every single one. And that's it.